go to Kali.org download Kali Linux and in my case Kali Linux 64 bits okay click here for the installer now it's downloading okay new virtual machine okay, I will use Kali Linux 2021 one okay the type is Linux the version choose other Linux with 64 bits okay other Linux 64 bits next for RAM I will use 4 gigabytes uh, will be uh, 4096 megabytes create virtual hard disk now create VDI next fixed size fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create but is often faster to use next and for virtual hard disk, I will use 20 gigabytes. For me, it's enough, or use more uh, according your requirements and create. Okay, now and this is Kali Linux virtual machine. Right click and go to settings. Uh, system. The RAM, 4 gigabytes. For processor, I will use uh, two processors or use more according to your requirements. Go to storage. And this is the virtual hard disk, but this empty uh, drive is to insert the virtual hard disk at uh, at Kali Linux installer 2021.1 one. open uh, is this so choose now the installer in the virtual uh, the installer in the drive go to network use not but I prefer bridge adapter my gigabit interface be sure this cable is connected and on usb 3.0 support okay and I start okay the optical disk okay choose kali linux okay start Okay. Use uh, use graphical install the first. Okay, uh, select your language. I will choose in my case English. Your location in my case. Um, I am in Peru but I will use United States continue the key map mm, you can choose uh, American English or, but I will use this Latin American continue Okay, the host name, I will use Kali Linux uh, 2021-1, continue, your domain name, use any, any domain name, if you don't have a domain name, continue, user and password, full name for new user, the full name, use this, first name and last name. Okay, continue. The username, I will choose this username and password. Okay, 
confirm the password continue okay uh, time zone on united states uh, i will just pacific Okay, uh, the partition disks, I will use manual configuration, continue. Select your virtual hard disk. This is 21.5 gigabytes. Okay, continue. I create a new empty partition table, yes. And this is the free space, 21.5 gigabytes. So continue. Create new partition, continue. The size of the new partition for my swap, I would use two gigabytes, continue. Primary, continue. Beginning, continue. And now select the ext4, I will change this to swap, continue. Select the swap area, okay, continue, and very good. Select done setting up the partition, then continue. And now you have the swap here, and now here the free space, select free space and continue. Create new partition, continue. All remaining size, the maximum value, continue. Primary, continue. And very good, ext4, the mount point, the root, very good. Done setting up the partition, continue. Now you have the swap, two gigabytes, and the, the root, 19.5 gigabytes. Okay. These values uh, may vary according to your requirements. But this is a good example. Uh, then select, select finish partitioning, continue. Are you sure? Yes, continue. Okay, at the moment only the core of the system is installed. You can customize uh, different desktop environments. Okay, uh, the XFC is a lightweight desktop environment, so it's very good. Mm, top 10 most popular tools, very good. Recommended tools, very good. Enlarge the default se selection plus additional tools. Okay, the default selection is very good, so continue. Install grab, yes, continue. You need to make the newly installed system bootable. Okay, um, this uh, virtual hard disk, continue. Installation complete, continue. Okay, your username and your password. Okay, very good. Okay, amazing. Very nice. The terminal okay, very good.
Thank you very much.